you know that perfect moments to cut someone off yeah they're very they're moments where you just need to just simply cut someone off for being too toxic for being too i don't know not good for you for your life for everything so you just need to cut them off you know straight away guys welcome back to my channel this is a very legendary karibu sana so i'm going to dive right in so the first point on today's topic is to cut when to, to cut someone off when your relationship is one-sided so when you find your relationship is one-sided um you find yourself doing the most you're, you're doing the the calling you're doing the heavy lifting you're the one always up and down just doing everything for this person but they don't reciprocate you're there for them in their bad times in the good times and i mean and they're never there for you they don't um Maybe they don't return the favor. And I know it's not like you're expecting. You're always expecting something from someone whenever you do something for them. But when it, when it comes to like a relationship or a friendship, it's always a nice thing when, let's say, you you have a function. Let's say you're getting married and this person doesn't show up. And you probably they even your they're supposed to be part of your bridal team and then they just disappoint you, you know. And then for their event, they expect you to be there and they get upset if you're not there or if you're late or something of that sort. So... If it's always one sided then it's good to question yourself like if this is working for you if it's not working for you then you need to cut this person off but of course have a have a conversation with them let them know that you know this is what is happening and you don't feel like um the relationship is healthy you know so when you communicate that and they still don't uh, change then it's it's best to cut this person off and the other point is when they don't apologize for their mistakes so when you find someone doesn't apologize for their mistakes they constantly do things you know and sometimes someone can do things unknowingly innocently but if someone does things and repeatedly and they never apologize you know they don't care about your feelings then this person is just not meant to be in your life so you can cut them off then the other point is also they don't respect your boundaries so you find this person doesn't respect your boundaries you've told them time and again you don't like um someone showing up with different friends and just showing up maybe in the middle of the night banging on your door and you're fast asleep you know something of that sort and just you can just come up with things that you know maybe uh, someone um doesn't respect your boundary maybe you've told them that you don't like something and they keep on doing it they keep on they don't even care about your boundaries they tip, they some assault all over your boundaries so this person just cut them off then the other point is also they often control you so you find this person is always controlling they want to just um control everything you do everything you say they're like no you should do this you should do this no you don't do that why did you do this no 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 um, you should do this like they control you until you even feel like you know you it's like you're walking on eggshells and never with this person let's say you're going to a restaurant they want to pick everything you know they want even to pick where you see it they're like no you just come here no 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 like they want to just be in control over everything so it's not healthy and if this person is always like this you know always like this they just want to control you they want to just um make you do things for them it's like they are the puppeteer and you're the puppet so if you find yourself in this situation then it's just best to cut this person off and the other point is also to they usually shift blame so let's say they've done something nasty to you they've uh, disappointed you maybe um let's say this person um let's say came late maybe you're supposed to meet at a certain time and then they showed up like three hours late and then so now when you're like you're so upset with this person they're not even apologizing they just they're like yeah, yeah i'm here you know so they'll be like you know no 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 but it's your problem why did you come here early no they shift the blame instead of just accepting and being accountable of their actions they want to shift the blame to you they always turn the conversation around to shifting the blame to you and then you feel guilty and then you find yourself being the one to apologize and they're the ones who um who, who wronged you so yeah so this person usually shifts the blame on you then the other point is also they're manipulative they always try to um make things twist things and just play around with you so that you know they play mind games so that they can be able to get what they want so if this person is always like trying to manipulate you to do something maybe they'll make you do something you're not comfortable with or you're not com like maybe they disrespect your boundaries and make you do things that you're not comfortable with so this person is not for you and you need to cut this person off then the other point is also they're often dishonest so if you find this person is always lying always not say, telling you the truth you just cut them in lies or they just lie to you time and time again maybe they tell you even their life you don't even know the exact details of their life so they've really lied to you maybe about their 
so many things you know you don't even know most of the things about their life so if you're with this person and you you've been honest with them and you don't see the need for them to lie you know so i don't think it's a good thing to keep um, being around this person because the longer you stay with them the longer they lie and the more the lies are there are in, in between you guys so yeah this is a person you just need to cut off you know in the long run because they'll just it will just lead to something you know you'll be hurt in the end of it you know maybe they've lied to you about so many so many things you don't even know so and then the other point is also they often belittle you they make you feel small they just you know put you down all the time they make you feel like you're not good enough you're not at their level you it's like you're below it's like you're just you know something they just someone they just you know you like to be in their presence you know they just make you feel like you know you're not good enough your dress code is just work everything about you is work your english is not good you know they just make you feel bad about yourself so they end up belittling you and if this person is you know you're always around this person even your self-esteem suffers so it's best to just cut this person off for your own sake for your own sanity then the other point is also they're often selfish so they're very selfish and they just look out for themselves you know so even in time of pro in times of problems like you maybe you've gotten into something maybe uh, you've gotten sick and you've been admitted to hospital they won't be there for you they'll be like no no you see you need to listen to me even like maybe you're going through a divorce and then you're just venting to them then they'll just find a way to just make it about them you know you know i just lost you know my my, my nail it clipped you know nee, 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 nee. they'll just twist things and just and they, they can imagine you're going through this whole thing life-changing thing and they don't even care it's just about them everything is just about them so this person you should just cut them off because they're not good for you and another point is also they disregard your feelings so they don't care about your feelings they walk all over your boundaries they don't respect you they are dishonest with you they lie to you they do things to you so this person just doesn't care about your feelings so if you find this person doesn't care about your feelings even if you're hurt you're telling them you know i didn't like what you did to me and they don't care they're like yeah whatever you know it doesn't affect me in any way you know it's your life like if it hurt you you know why are you hurting maybe even they they stole your boyfriend so to speak they don't care they're like yeah i mean if you can't play the game you know they don't they're not apologetic they're not um they just don't care about your feelings at all so you need to cut this person off then the other point is also they drain you um have you ever been with someone that you just feel drained after dealing with them you just feel like you're tired you just want to go and sleep this person will drain you they'll just make you feel like you're not uplifted after just even talking to them on phone you just feel drained you feel tired you're just like no no, no i can't do this anymore and you dread even meeting this person and then the ones who will say oh, where are you where are you they'll keep on looking for you you know because they want to like it's kind of like i don't know if they enjoy draining you but it's like they know that you're a good person they can tell you're a good person and they want to be i mean maybe they know that they can't even find other friends who will be able to bear with them so they kind of like that's why they always look for you and all that so you find themselves after hanging out with them you just drained you're tired so when you feel like this just know that you know it's not working and you need to cut this person off so yeah those are the points that i came up with so if you have any more points kindly share on the um comment section down below thank you so much for being with me as usual until next time take care of yourselves bye